In this video, I'll be showing you how to build beautiful website using Lovable, which is a no-code tool platform that allows you to build websites, apps, just by typing a prompt here. I'm not a developer, so I don't really know how to develop anything. I've never written a single line of code, unless it's like some CSS classes or some basic HTML. Other than that, all of it can be created as well as this just by typing in the chat. And I will be showing you how to exactly do that, what exactly to do, where exactly to look for some inspirations. And yeah, by the end of this video, you will know how to build these websites within a matter of days or uh, within a matter of hours, because you don't need to spend days to build stuff like this. Now you can just open Figma. There is a new tool that I've been actually trying to use. I'm showing this for designers who are watching this, because uh, this will not be that useful for developers. But for example, if you have a design in Figma and you need some other pages designed, you can just uh, open this plugin, which is called Builder, Builder.ai, and you can say create about us page based on this styles and layout or you can say basically create a mobile responsiveness and stuff like that but yeah so i can just literally type anything and it will design and uh, while it's designing i can also share with you how to do this in lovable which will be more useful to developers who have some technical understanding of how to build stuff but yeah, so you can see it uses the style that the colors and all of the stuff like from our template, but it actually creates new unique design based on that. Obviously, you will have to edit out a few stuff. You can add some new icons that they just placed in here, but you can see it uses the same kind of uh, spacing. So as you can see, uh, it uses the same kind of stuff, which is great. And obviously you will have to just paste it, import into Figma, copy, put the navigation, copy, put the footer, and you can add, ask it to create new sections and stuff like that. I'm not going to use that. By the way, I'm not affiliated neither with the builder that IO or EO and not with Lovable. I'm just loving it and I will be showing you how to build that. Yeah, so let's, the first step would be actually to find some inspiration for our website. This is the most important step because what, what you input it, it will uh, use that to output. So we're going to be using this example. For example, I found this website on the Lapa Ninja. I think it's pretty cool. It is pretty easy to design something like that. We have some nice background image. I'll show you how to create that using AI. We have some cards here that I will also show you how to create using AI, how to design images specifically for web design so they look as great because it's hard to generate actually something that would look great on a website but it is totally possible and i will be showing you today what prompts to use we have some interactive elements here we have interactive this element that is pretty easy to create with lowable uh, so i'll be showing you how to do that today as well we have this slider that also is pretty easy to create with lowable and uh, once you create this page, you will be able to just reuse it for any of your project. For example, with this template, you can just remix it. And by the way, you can remix this template in a link down in the description for free, absolutely for free. You can go ahead and remix it to your lovable file. And you can say, create a new page for a startup called, for example, here can you put the name of your startup or the name of your client website? And uh, you can also specify, use the same styles, colors, some layout, but be free, be free to create new section as you see needed. And it will actually take this page, it will create a new separate page, create a new separate page. It will create a new separate page and it will use the same colors and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and duplicate this to your website down in the description so yeah as well as the, with this website can be done absolutely the same just simply uh, typed here create a new page based on this template and it will do that so yeah let's create a new page with based on this design that i really like and the first step what i will actually do if um, and you can do if you're a designer is to bring it over to Figma. So I'm going to use this plugin HTML to design and I'm going to bring it over to Figma. I've already done that. So let me just quickly go ahead and open it. In Figma, what you will need to do is just click at the plugins here at the top. And then you'll have the ability to use the plugin called HTML to design, which is this plugin. And then what you have to do is just drag the file that you got from the and put it in here and you'll have the design here as you can see i've done it with a couple of websites 
And now that I have it here, I can start editing it. I can start changing some stuff as I see wish for my specific use case. And then I bring it to Lovable. You can do that straight in Lovable. So what you can do is just, uh, let's say I wanted to bring this website to Lovable. I can just, for starters, get rid of a lot of the sections here. So I'm just gonna select this select tool and start deleting all of the map necessary sections because um, it's not really good to copy all of this stuff to Lovable right away because it's not gonna do that good job of doing that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just delete off a lot of sections and let's start with the hero section first. So I'm then going to show you how to do that in Figma, but first let's just bring all of that stuff to Lovable through this method that I'm about to show you. Basically, I'm just deleting all of the unnecessary sections and they're not deleted from this website once I refer to the page. I'll have access to that. So let's delete this section as well. Now let's delete this. So what we have right now is the hero section and this kind of card here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this hero section. I'm going to uh, go here up and see if where is that class with all of this stuff. Let's say this is the body class. What I can do is quick edit as HTML and just copy this and go to lovable, go back here and say something like create a hero section and and second section based on this design. And I can just paste the code here. So sensitive API detected. Not sure why sensitive API is in the file. <laughs> why they put sensitive API is key here, but not our problem. Maybe that's something related with it. Um, yeah, obviously you would want to change some stuff. For example, I, I'm let's say I'm building a website for a different kind of website. It's not going to be for a Web3 company. I would not need this take window here, this input. This could be a form whether waitlist form. So if I go to, for example, this side and I can find a form here. So let me just go. And instead of that item, I can just put my waitlist form. I could increase it. And then I already have an element that I can change it with and have that ready in there. Obviously I'm go not needing this. So I'm just gonna keep this. For this section, I can add new illustrations. I can add new pictures and stuff. So let's actually do that. Let's move it a little bit up. Or for now, let's just get rid of that and we can just keep the button here. So let's just keep the button, get started, and we're gonna do that. In the meantime, I can see that Lovable created this page. So it has some error. Let's just give it some time to fix it. Go back to our Figma file. By the way, you will be able to get this uh, live website in Lovable as well in the link down in the description once I finish it. So if you're watching this video, then this website is live and you can duplicate it to your Lovable account and start using it. So yeah, let's just uh, update this section. What I can do in Figma to update it, I can just select all of this text and click the button here and click AI rewrite or just rewrite. And I'm gonna say rewrite this for my for my startup called WebFluent. And let's just say that WebFluent is a se exceptional website for SaaS startups in a few clicks with AI. Use the same amount of words as in the mockup text. And let's just say rewrite, and you can see that it's actually rewriting the text based on the stuff that we have asked. And yes, so here we have our text rewritten very quickly without any design uh, stuff like that. Let's go back to our lovable. It's still rewriting. So what I can do in the meantime is to create an image instead of this, since I don't read it. It's cool, but we can create something custom for our own project. And for this, I'm going to go to the website called Recraft. And this is Recraft AI. It is free for first users, like it gives you free credits not affiliated with them either. Uh, yeah, there is no link in the description even for this, so you can just Google and find this. But let's try to log in. Let's use Chrome browser since this is a bit lagging. The Safari. 
So here in Recraft, I'm just going to paste this image from the website inside of here. And I'm going to ask it to use this picture as a inspiration. And let's say, build a version of this image. You can obviously specify details based on your stuff like that, but let's wait and see the result. So here, what it gave me it looks a little bit different from the original to be not considered copy paste, but it still looks great. So I'm just gonna copy this image to the clipboard and I'm gonna paste it back to Figma. Again, not necessary step. I'm just gonna paste that here. So here we're level created from our prompt that we just copied the code from the browser. As you can see, it kind of works, but it's far from perfect. And the layout of the website is a little bit complicated. I'm gonna show you now a better way how to do it. And I think the right way and so this is the website that I brought to Figma with our plugin. And now I'm just gonna show you what you basically need to do. The first step, you need to remove all of the elements that are uh, would be hard for Lovable to replicate. So I'm just gonna remove the logo and let's put at the top here, let's say a rectangle or a circle, something that Lovable can know that it can be a logo or stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put it there for the icons. Uh, let's just keep Discord and all of these icons for now. Or I can just even replace them so it, um, it doesn't spend its energy on looking the icons. But let's actually, uh, yeah, so let's just use the Discord icon for all of them. And then I can just export and uh, replace the icons with actual social media that I need. So then we would have this text, which is great. And uh, I'm going to remove this picture for now, or I'm just going to make it dark. And I'm going to make a screenshot of it. I'm going to hide the UI and I'm going to make a screenshot of the screen and send it to Lovable. And here I'll go to a new Lovable prompt and I'm just going to prompt it and say replicate, replicate the pixel perfect or just replicate the pixel perfect design of the hero section in the image section in the image and let's see what it creates so here is the result with our prompt with the image it got some error and fixed it by itself so yeah the only thing left to do is fix this and icons and add our input here also recently with update from apple you can actually create transparent stuff in browser that will be reflected based on what background you have so as you can see, if I scroll down, I can see that my items are transparent and you can actually move and depending on the background and stuff, the thing changes, which is pretty cool. Like if you have the background of a gradient video playing, you will be actually able to see that uh, the thing changes the color on the bottom there. So let me actually show you how to do something like that for our website that we're doing right now. I'm going to return to the stuff where we have the background and I'm going to take an element that has similar background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a community tab here in Figma and I'm going to look for glass, iPhone, something like that. Let's search glass and see if we can find something like that. iPhone, iOS 26, let's, let's try. And here we have a ton of results. I'm just going to open this one and I'm going to copy the styles of that into our lovable file, just like that. So let's open it in Figma. I'm going to bring it to our website. So let's go here and let's go and find our website that we're working on. Paste that under this. Make it a little bit smaller. Make it the size that we need. Remove this. Make sure it's not a component. I don't need auto layout as well. And now I'll just paste a form here. So I'm going to go find a form. Let's take this form, for example, put it here. And yeah, so now we do like this. And what I can do right now is I'm going to click on this and copy this as styles. So either I can just press Common. Ah, uh, no, I actually would need to open it as a code element. Yeah. So I need to press this code element at the bottom here. And now I have access to just this code element. And I can go to Lovable 
and say add a uh, waitlist input put with a card in this exact styles and I can just type it here and send it and also I can tell it where to add that so let's add place it it under the and I'm just gonna copy this text to say it where I wanted to put it place under there and let's see how much padding we want to add so I think we would need to paste it somewhere here or somewhere here maybe like this yeah with the padding of 50 pixels with a padding of a 50 pixels from the description and let's just send it so this is the result that we've got once I updated the image you can see that we have here this beautiful input with our email that is actually will have the blur and once you scroll and it will change the background based on that so the next section would be to build this one and again I'm just going to copy the styles here so as simple as copying the whole section and the styles and just sending them to Lovable. So I'm going to say make the hero section to be 150 pixels height because as you can see in design it is much more taller than here. And then I'm going to say that also under hero section add this section. And I'm just going to paste the code here and see what it creates. So here we have the final result with the links and we have this nice waitlist window here that you can use actually this web page to the to launch your own product. Obviously you would need to go and ask Lovable to optimize it for mobile. So what would you do is just optimize this for mobile. Make sure it is responsive. And with all your websites that you build with Lovable, make sure to just ask it to optimize it for mobile. It usually does a great job, but sometimes you have to ask it to optimize it. And yeah, and then nine out of 10 times, it will create beautiful mobile designs that you will see in a few seconds. As you can see, just with one single prompt, it's vastly improved the design. You can see that all of the sections now work correctly. Obviously you can improve some more, but yeah. Let me know what do you think about